to a vlog. We're going to be vlogging all week. So it's Monday. We just got to Atlanta. And tomorrow I'm speaking on a panel with you two, which is very exciting. We leave Wednesday and we go to New York and I'm speaking on another panel um, for the Black and Fashion Council. I think that one's about networking. <laughs> I should probably check that, but let me give you a quick room tour because we've never stayed here before. I don't come to Atlanta often. This is the door right when you walk in. Love this little nook for luggage. Um, this is the bathroom. I also pop in my airport outfit. I'll put it over here. <laughs> um, but pretty spacious. Love that. Decent shower. Um, nice big bed. Yeah, come in. Just got the TV there. That's here we go. That's the room. Just checked in, so we're gonna go to dinner tonight. So I'm gonna put on something. I need to see like what the vibe is of the place we're going. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, bring you along. So should be a fun, productive week. We have a lot of work to do while we travel. Um, I want to put a video up Wednesday. We just put a video up today. Um. We just edited some content to submit. So yeah, it's a working travel week. So. Just got ready, a little better. Um, I think I just showed this in a haul. This sweater is Club Monaco. I got it from Shop Up. Really like it. It's just a good, like, don't, don't do a lot of work for the fall, winter type of sweater. The Prada skirt that I'm so excited about. And then, and I also think I showed these boots. I'll pop in my full outfit. Uh, but it's the Blue Marine boots I showed in the last video. And this I showed in the last video. Look at that. Um, so we're going to meet Regina. Um, and I think she's never been to this place either. So let's go and I'll tell you how it is. college campus but we're headed to the panel should be fun I think we're talking about I'm getting the two panels mixed up I think this one is about networking so um I'll pop in my outfit which is super cute I wanted just something comfortable I like to wear pants when I'm on a panel because you're sitting down you don't have to worry about anything um and I just yeah it's 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 also very warm here it's like 70 something so this is the look well what you're seeing is the look and um, let's go. Next, we have Janae Naylor. Hey. Well, let's take you back. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to take ourselves back to that first collaboration that you had. What was it like? What happened? Who approached who? Was it someone you really wanted to collaborate with? Did you reach out? Did they reach out to you? How did the negotiations go? Give us the idea of what that first collaboration was and how it felt in your body, and then what happened as a result. I'm trying to think. Mine is on the tip of my tongue. Go ahead. <laughs> and I always tell people, you will never be prepared for when someone is paying you to do a job. So you need to practice like someone is paying you. 
because that's what I remember. Um, mine was Pantene. It was shampoo. I was so excited. There was no negotiations. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> that was the email. And I, but once we started shooting, I was like, I don't even know how to hold a bottle. Like I've never, even though I've been doing Instagram content, I've never shot it like it was for a product, right? I would just shoot my outfit or just whatever I wanted to do. But in my brain, I've never thought about if I had to sell something. And now there's money on the line. So the, there's just so much added pressure and stress to it. So that's what I remember. I just wanted to do a really good job. I mean, it turned out fine. I mean, looking back, the pictures are terrible. But at the time, they were happy with it. Um, but just that added stress of like, if you can practice as much as you can, even if you're just like, oh, here's some water. Let me just take a few pictures. Like if they were paying me to take, you know, some pictures. And what would I want to, what type of story would I want to tell? What would I want it to look like? If it was a real, what would that be like? How would you integrate it naturally? All those things you don't think about until like, then money's on the line and you're like, oh my God. I don't want to mess up. I don't even know how to hold a camera anymore. So that's what I remember. Um, honestly, I want to say, not saying y'all have any evil eye, but like, I've been thinking like, I can't say stuff out loud before it happens or it's not going to happen. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, I'll be thinking like that low key. But I, I'll say one of them. <laughs> I want to work with Blue Marine. I want to work with like, honestly, like what you were saying with high fashion brands, like, I love high fashion brands, but I do think that we need more diversity in them and like more of a return investment because I don't be seeing the investment really either, to be honest. So I think that let's use a diesel girl too. Yeah, diesel. Yeah, diesel would be cute. I would say that. So a lot of the stuff that's available online, it's created by the people who yeah, want okay. to save money. Um, so the rates are really low, but. Um, it's different for everybody, and like Janae said, like I think a good rule of thumb is um, if you know they go through your rates are probably a little too high, and you should adjust adjust them and circle back. If if um, we say yes right away, your rates are too low, and you need to increase them, and if they're willing to talk, you're probably right where you need to be. But in terms of formulas, I would say um, for Instagram, I would say for a photo post, anywhere between four to six percent of your following. And then um, for video content, like add a 25% markup. So say you have 100,000 followers on Instagram, you should be charging anywhere between four and $6,000 just for like a photo post. And then a 25% markup for a reel. So, um, you know, 25% higher than whatever four to $6,000 is. And then usage, um, you should charge about $2,500 a month for usage uh, for video content. Um, if it's like a photo or something like that, you can probably charge a little bit lower, 1500 maybe a month. But as a general rule, like all of our creators, and we represent over 100 creators, um, that's where we start. It's about $2,500. got back from the panel it went so well it's so fun um and i just changed into these little shorts sweater the shorts with jack moose yeah um a little sweater same boots because they're so kind i need to change my shoes my feet were hurting too bad and this coat it's just too hot for but it's still part of the outfit so um we're gonna go have um drinks with maya from youtube um and regina's downstairs quick little trip to Atlanta um it was it was all about collaborating I think we put some clips in here uh, but like how to you know build great relationships with brands how to you know collaborate and kind of make the right decisions when you're collaborating stuff like that so that was really good 
then we went to dinner with Maya. We went back to the same place and had dinner with Maya and Regina. So that was great being able to connect with both of them. That made the trip like extra worth it. So now we're headed to New York. We have a panel tonight that I agreed to do months ago. Um, so these just happen to fall right on top of each other. But um, and then we also have an Affendi event tonight. So I picked out three looks. I don't know which one will be <laughs> waiting for me. We'll have to make sure that fits. And then we go to the panel first from 7 to 8. And then the Fendi event from 8-ish to 9. It's over at 9. So, yeah. Get on our flight. And we should get to New York around 2 or 3. So, we have some time. But that's the update. stuff so really gorgeous space you can actually get a beautiful glimpse of Statue of Liberty if you look straight yeah, down so pretty. nice view uh, you got your separate living area bath walk-in closets robes desk um, soaking tower soaking bath uh, there is a window it does cover oh, obviously you need for more privacy um, our bath products are all in New York which is custom for Pendry and then you have the separate shower the yeah. <laughs> um, we just arrived at the hotel. It's gorgeous. So I feel like we should talk about like the work stuff, cost stuff, things like that. Um, because I feel like when people mention panels, you just assume like, oh, you're speaking on a panel, you're probably getting paid. It's not always how it works. <laughs> So the thing in Atlanta with YouTube that was paid work, um, which is great. You know, we want to get paid for our time. But there are things that I do for free as well. So like the panel we have tonight is I just like to support the Black and Fashion Council so that it, we're not getting paid. Um, also in Atlanta, YouTube covered everything, right? So they covered our flights, hotel, all that because that was very much a work thing. Um, again, the panel tonight, we paid for ourselves. Well, YouTube flew us home but here but then we are paying for ourselves to go back home um but we managed to kind of like work out free hotel stay i guess which i don't we talked about this before i don't typically do um but i have always wanted to stay at this hotel which is the pendry um they actually offered um for me to stay at the one in dc because it's brand new but we just happen to be coming here more so we get two nights free which we're only here two nights and we're just going to make some content for them. So that's a way for us to cut down on the cost. Um, so tonight we have the panel I'm on. That's from 7 to 8. And then there happened to also be a Fendi event tonight um, for their winter collection. Um, so they just sent over an outfit. So when you try it on, hope that it fits. I picked three looks. They sent me one of my options. So, okay. so let's see what we got. Yeah. So I picked like... Two dresses, two dresses. They sent me this one, which I'm really happy with. It's just like a leather, totally me. And then this little sheer top underneath, love. With these boots, these are just long, so obviously just for tonight. And they sent over, ooh, a bag. Oh, I've been wanting to try this bag. They sent over this like baguette with all the pockets. Oh, so we're gonna go to that. Um, and obviously we're going to shoot content. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is going to make me want this back. Oh. I'm very excited. Now first, let's see if it fits before we get excited. I'll be back. It fits. I'm not trying on the whole thing, but this is our look for tonight. It fits. Yay! We got a little gift from the hotel. So freaking nice. Oh, and a little bar of gold. Yummy. We're also waiting on food, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. You know, I'm a, I'm a Conrad girl. Um, I'm a creature of habit, but literally she was like, 
you know, she loves my content. You know, there's so many Pendries and she was telling me all the different cities they have one in LA. We go to LA often, one in DC, one in San Diego, one in Baltimore. But yeah, so I might be a Pendry girl now. I'll let you know after this step. I gotta put my scarf on and get myself situated, do some work. I'll pick you back up for the festivities tonight. Just got dressed. This is my look for Fendi. I'll pop in some better pictures because we're rushing. Uh, but I'm just going to wear this, like I said, to the panel. Um, so these are some really cute boots. I love this dress. It's so neat. It has a little schoolgirl feel. Um, I have one of the little ear cuff. Side of the glass, so you can see everybody's shoes, all right? Okay. <laughs> it matters. Let's take another one. One more. I had a, the opportunity to be on the Today Show, and I was like, I felt like I'm good at this. I am a natural. This was easy. I felt like everyone expected me to be nervous, and I was like, I need to lean more into this. How do I give myself this opportunity instead of waiting on someone to give it to me? So I created my own YouTube series. It's called Silent Locked every Wednesday. Um, so I'm just trying to make what I want to see, um, but again, always following my passion and making sure I'm excited about what I'm doing because that's how I show up every day. We're gonna get ready for the day. It's like nine. We are interviewing Cassie Thorpe from YouTube today um, at 11. So we're gonna eat, quickly get ready. We're pretty much already set up. Um, and then I'm gonna, she's gonna interview me for her podcast. So we're gonna go to her studio at 1.30. So whenever we finish here, we'll go there. Um, and then later, we're gonna interview Monroe. Um, she was able to come in town. Well, she was already planning on being here. So we're going to interview her at five here. And then I think we might go to an event together. I'm not sure. I have to see what I have to wear. That's pretty much the day. Oh, we're going to go to dinner later um, in the hotel. A part of the stay um, is like um, a comp to dinner. Um, obviously, we're going to like make some content and stuff. And we have a really cute real idea we're going to do for the hotel tomorrow morning. So I can show you that. And then tomorrow, we have an interview before we fly out with Kendall Miles, who I always talk about, the luxury shoe designer, black woman owned. Um, so I'm very excited. Also, my skin is looking phenomenal. I got a facial before we left. And usually like the first two, one or two days after the facial is like rough. And then it just gets good. I also wanted to show you um, some body care. Um, because as soon as it gets cool, I instantly notice my skin change. I'm eczema prone, um, so it gets rough. Like, I'm just white all over. So if you need some extra hydration, I've talked about both of these products before, but I need to use them both together when it's, like, winter, um, which is my, I, I need a new one. This is literally has a corner lift, <laughs> and all the writing is off of it. But this is Josie Moran, the Whipped Argon Body 
oil cream. So, and then the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Mist. So I put a couple pumps of this in my hand and then a scoop of this. And that gets me where I need to be. So I'll pick it back up when Cassie gets here. My least, don't I? Let me see. If is, that, is that on the list? Let me see. I try to mix it up so it's not okay. the same every time. Okay. For this, yeah, it's on here. Okay. To the separate section. Okay. This is just I, such a good one. You know what? I've seen it and I already know. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually at the top of people's minds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. actually, okay. it was last week. Yes, <laughs> I hated it. Does I? Sagittarius. And what's Josh's? Ah, that makes sense. Only because, <laughs> so yeah, kind of. So I'm, I'm not too, too much into astrology, but I know sort of general high level. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that is on my list of things to ask you for the podcast <gasps> is like, are you two working together, mm -hmm. right? And this makes sense because he's a cancer. Yeah. He's Whereas, very easy going. Oh my gosh, I would kill me. We we yeah. we would last two months and then that would be uh, engagements off blah blah blah. You know I've said something yeah. terrible and all yeah. of this. What's his yeah. sign? He's a Taurus. He's so, stubborn. Oh he yeah. He has his ways. You can't yeah. And and if you need to change them, then it has to be like drip fed. Mm. You you have to like plant yeah. the seed. You can't just say like okay I think we should do this. You'd be like eh, eh, eh. yeah yeah yeah. It was and this. That's Yes, yeah, someone has to be the easy going yes. and like level headed yeah. one mm -hmm. because I'm like twofold. One, I get very anxious, mm -hmm. and especially when I want to do a good job or yeah. I like I overthink a lot of things. I think I know exactly how I want it to be, and then mm -hmm. he'll be like, "I think we should get this." And I'm like, "Get the shot!" I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then he'll do something, and I'm like, "Oh my oh, gosh, thank God!" You better. Know, yeah, exactly. Way better than my idea. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm like. But it has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And I just like, get, I stress myself out so much. Yeah. And he'll be like, let's just take a break. Or like, I think we got it. Or just, yeah. what do we need to do? Just calm down. Yeah. I guess. You have to have the Sorry balance. Yeah. Yeah. But if it could, it could, I always tell people, I'm like, please do not get divorced on account of me. <laughs> because. Well, the thing is, is that you have to know. Like, and I, and I know, and also I think it's about having like clear boundaries. Like mm -hmm. this is my bit and you don't get involved in this bit and I make the decisions here. Yeah. And you know, whatever and vice versa. Okay. Oh yes. Relax, but most recently seen on the Today Show. Oh my gosh, how amazing was that? Amazing. <gasps> Did you have a great time? I had the best time. Oh. Everything you saw on TV, that's how quick it was. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, in and out. Literally a world went. They walked onto the set and yeah. they said, three, two, one. It was like, nice to meet you. Hi, three, yeah. two, one. We went down that thing. They were like, you're a natural. It's your first time here. Okay, bye. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And you're like, I now need time to decompress. So literally, they never was like, do you remember how to get out? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just get, get my thing. So. Oh my gosh, what an experience. It was. It literally, I feel like it just put a battery in my back of like, I love this. Oh, that's great. Like, because I think, you know, you've been doing this for how long now? Five years. Okay. And I think like any job, you get into the swing of what's your every day. You mm -hmm. get into the swing of what you know. Update. I'm tired. <laughs> um, we finished Cassie's podcast. We finished filming here. We did pod, uh, Cassie's podcast. We stopped and got a slice of pizza. <laughs> and then we had like an hour and a half um, before the next filming. Josh is editing some pictures. And I was finishing the outline for Monroe's interview. Because I didn't have it done. Um, so... Maya sent over the intro and I was just getting like the rest of the games together and the questions. So finished that, just touched up my makeup, I'm gonna put a lip on. We got 12 minutes to spare <laughs> and then I need to change my clothes. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go to this event after we film with Monroe. I would like to go. I don't know if I have the energy to meet new people. Um, it's a Ferragamo event. Um, 
and I really want to go. But I just don't know if I have it in me after we do another interview. Like I feel all talked out. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I might get rejuvenated. So I'm just gonna play by ear. But uh, that's the update. This is my go-to lip combo lately, which I love. Gucci Penny Beige Lipstick. Um, I've started back using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner, which I like it. It's not as harsh as Chestnut. This is Pillow Talk 3 Intense. And I have so many of them. Um, and then this MAC Dazzle Glass. I don't know if they don't sell this anymore because I have been trying to buy a new one for like a month. And go for gold. Mm. But after this, once we get home, there's not, like, we have, like, regular work to do, but I just wanted to use the opportunity being in New York to batch as many videos as we could so that I wasn't stressed about it. So I think I have enough now to go through all of November. And then I need to figure out who I want for the season finale, which will be in December. Okay, let me get dressed. Our special guest is here. Hello! <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Welcome. Thank, thank, they've been Thanks here. Thanks for having me. They've been here. <laughs> All right, we finished filming. We're done! <laughs> I don't know why she's yelling. Oh, I didn't tell anyone what I was doing because I didn't know, you know, what the... I'm like the kind of girl that I'm like zero to a hundred. Zero or a hundred. Like either I am spending two hours getting ready yeah. or I am homeless. Like, you know what I mean? No like, in between. It's really no in between because I don't got time for in between. Yeah. That's how I am with makeup. Yeah. Like, like rarely am I just going to be like, yeah. I'll just put, it's going to elevate. It's going like, to be I'll just home. put a little concealer and a brow. I'd rather wear nothing. Yeah. And then when I'm, I, I'm going in. Yeah. But it's time to be in. I agree. 